Hello and welcome to this tutorial about uploading users onto your Moodle website. For that, first of all, you need the data, that is, the user data that you want to upload on the site. So let us create that data first. Here is an Excel sheet that I have, a spreadsheet. The first row will contain the headings and the rows further will contain the learner data. So the first value that you need to provide is the username. Next is the first name, last name, email. These four values are the required details for any record to be added as a user on the website. Further on, we have optional fields as well. Password, city, country, language, time zone and a lot of other details. Next is the course in which you want the user to be enrolled. So that is course one. And in what capacity or role do you want the user to be enrolled? So it is role one. If suppose you want to enroll the user in multiple courses. It could be course 2 and role 2 for the second course. Now this is how it works. Course 1, role 1. Course 2, role 2. Alright. Next, let us add some data here. What are the precautions? A username can only contain lowercase letters. It cannot contain uppercase. City the name of the city, country. The country must contain two letter country code. For example, IN for India. Now course one, this has to be the course short name. How do you get that is on the Moodle site, when you go to the course, go to edit settings and here you will see the course short name. Role. How would you get to know what roles can you possibly grant to a user? For that, you need to go to Site Administration, Users, Permissions, and Define Roles. Here you have a list of all the possible roles that you can have on the website. And from here you can select what role do you want to give to the user. For example, it could be a student, a teacher, editing teacher, course creator, manager, guest, user. So let's say we want the role to be student. And we will remove 
cos 2 and rho 2 because we only want to enroll the user in one course. Similarly, we can add more user details. So here we have one record of the user. Now we can add more records as well. The second record is for the teacher role that I have added. And these are the two entries that I need to add and upload. So go to File, Save As. Make sure you save it as a comma delimited file, CSV format. So it has to have a .csv extension. Give the file name and save. Okay. Do you want to save it in the CSV format? Yes. Next, we will go to Users, Accounts, Upload Users in the Moodle. Here, choose the file that you just saved. Make sure to choose the CSV file that you have saved just now. Open, Upload File, Upload Users. And as you can see, this is a preview of the data that has been fetched from the CSV file. It is not uploaded yet. It is only a preview. Upload type. Choose the type of upload you want to do. Add new and update existing users. This is what we want to do because we want to make sure that we are uploading the new records and updating the existing ones if there are any changes from the data or the file that we are uploading. Next, existing user details. Fill in missing from file and defaults. Force password change. Users having a weak password, none or all. We'll say for all so that whenever the user logs in to their account on Moodle, they are asked to change the password that we have set up for them. Rest of the details, we will let it remain to default and upload users. As you can see, there are no errors here. If there would have been any errors at the time of uploading data, it would have been shown here at this stage. This says two users have been successfully created. And let's continue. So the user details have been uploaded. Now let us go to Accounts, Browse List of Users to see the data that has been added. As we can see, two users have been added from the file that we uploaded along with their details. Now, if we need to see the course, we'll go to the course, this course participants, and here it shows the users who have been enrolled in the course with their roles, the respective roles. So one of the user has been enrolled with the learner role and the other as a non-editing teacher. That is the role that we assigned to them through the CSV file. How would you actually search for the country code? So you need to go to iso.org forward slash obp. Here, click on country codes and click on search. You will see alpha 2 code. That is the 2 alphabet code for the country. This is what you need to add in the CSV file for the respective country of the users that you are adding. Next, if you want to check other details that you want to add, how would you do that is by going to Site Administration, Users, Accounts, 
add a new user. Here you can see the details that Moodle requires at the time of enrollment. From here you can see the time zone. Now this is the list of time zones that Moodle accepts. So you have to copy the exact time zone in the exact format. For example, UTC. It has to be in all caps. This is exactly what you will have to add in the CSV file. If you want to have Europe, Paris, so E has to be capital and P has to be capital for Paris, for Europe, Paris. Similarly, here is what languages. Now this displays the language that is currently installed on your system, on the Moodle system. Now here I have only English installed. Let's check more languages. For that go to language, language packs. Here you can see the list of available languages for Moodle. And you can choose any of these languages. They first need to be installed on your system. Only then can you add it for your users. I have English as the language that has been installed on my system. That is the only language. Suppose I want Dutch. I will have to select that and click on Install Selected Language Pack or Packs. You can select multiple languages. So click on one language. Hold down the control key and click on any other language. That's how you can select multiple languages and then click on install selected language packs. So that is about installing the languages on your system. And this is how you would upload the data for users through a CSV file. If you found this tutorial helpful, please subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much.